Welcome to the Rapid Bridge, connecting modern minds to the ancient truth of God's Word. It is our goal to connect the modern day people to the ancient truth of God's Word through current language as well as scientific and technological references. Hey, Mike here. Um, we all have grown up on Disney movies, right? One of my favorite Disney movies as a child was Aladdin or The Lion King. Never really could decide which one was my favorite. The Lion King seems okay until you realize it is presenting ancestor worship all throughout the film. And it never references the one true God. At least Aladdin actually acknowledged the existence of God. Unfortunately, he was listening after a woman and intensely unleashes a type of demon spirit uh, known as a jinn or a genie, in order to receive wealth and status to impress the girl. Um, this is shown to be okay, and the movie even has a happy ending with this. Um, keep in mind that a genie or jinn is a spirit. Um, contacting spirits for personal gain, regardless of who you believe they are, is forbidden by God. And uh, you should appeal only to God. God says, do not turn to mediums or necromancers, do not seek them out, and do not make yourselves unclean by them, says the Lord. Um, now, movies like Coco and Soul also touch on communicating with the dead or necromancy as well. Um, whether you contact a demon, pray to a saint, or use other spells, this is sin. Um, speaking of interacting with demon spirits... There's a new movie out called Turning Red, which is even worse. If you follow any Christian YouTubers, you've probably already heard of this movie. Um, it teaches children about familiar spirits, magic rituals, rebelling against your parents. Uh, the movie not only pushes witchcraft, as all, mov all Disney movies do, but it uh, goes as far as to push a Luciferian philosophy. Like Aleister Crowley himself... Um, once said, after creating a religion with the help of demons, and do as thy will, that shall be the whole of the law. Um, God says, you shall have no other gods before me. Then, keeping with the Ten Commandments as a guiding list, um, we have movies like Aladdin, uh, which I've already mentioned. But then we have um, movies like Moana which is full of nothing but earth worship and uh, spirit-filled idols being served by the main characters all throughout the movie. God says, You shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or on earth below or in the water below. You shall not bow down to them, you shall not serve them. For I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God. Another one which is often overlooked is a character in the movies Incredibles 2 uses the Lord's name in vain. God says, you shall not take the Lord's name in vain. Um, now, I've noticed none of the Disney movies even portray the Sabbath at all. Um, a few of them do show the end of the work week as just being for partying and drinking, strangely enough. Um... That you're not honoring the Sabbath. Not that there's anything wrong with alcohol in of itself. But um, my point is, the Sabbath should be honored to God. Um, in the movies Little Mermaid, Lion King, Ratatouille, Brave, and um, recently much worse extent, Turning Red, as many as other Disney movies, um, children are seen directly disobeying the parents. In Turning Red, this goes as far extreme as to directly disrespect and act inappropriately in front of a parent um, and even straight up says not to honor your parents in the opening scenes of the movie God says honor your father and your mother um, as of pointed or as it was pointed out um, by a, uh, another YouTube channel called The Film Theorists, Disney's children and cartoons have quite the impressive body count. Uh, Mulan uh, is a movie where you see a cross-dressing woman lie about her gender to enter a war to kill around 2,000 people. Very child-friendly. 
um, God says you shall not murder. Um, he also says a woman must not wear a man's clothing. A man must not wear a woman's clothing. For the Lord your God detests anyone who does this. Um, Mulan, as well as other Disney characters, have lied to others without consequence. God says, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. Um, so often in Disney movies, uh, you see people lusting after members of usually the opposite sex. Um, princesses and princes, common people, all levels of society, and even across species in some weird cases. God says you shall not commit adultery. Uh, then he clarified, but I tell you, anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has committed adultery with her in his heart. Um, many Disney movies steal objects from others. Um, it's usually not portrayed in a negative way. One of the most blatant and worst is actually Robin Hood, um, who is a, uh, a socialist anarchist who intentionally stole from people and redistributed money as he saw fit. Um, yeah. That's what socialism does. God said you shall not steal. Um, almost every Disney character has coveted something. From Cinderella to Aladdin. Or quite often Wally. Who may just be Satan according to one theory. Um, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Nor his male servant or his female servant. Um, or his ox or his donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Now what about magic? Uh, how many Disney movies can you think of that do not feature magic explicitly? Um, these supposedly good witches, all witchcraft is evil, or spellcasting of some kind. To be clear, pra all magic is witchcraft. All witchcraft is an abomination to God. Um, God clearly even went as far as to say, you shall not allow a witch to live. It's that serious. Now, I know you're thinking of the witch from Sleeping Beauty and other evil witches. We know these are evil. That's not really the problem here. It's the ones portrayed as good witches. Spells, magical devices, and that sort of thing. Um, consider a popular favorite. Mickey Mouse as the Sorcerer's Apprentice or the Magic Clubhouse from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or the Fairy Godmother from Cinderella. These are all witches. Witchcraft is evil. Let's unnormalize this kind of evil. Disney is trying to teach children that witchcraft is okay. It is not okay. Um... That's all I've got. You need to really think about this. Um, read what the Bible says about witchcraft and people practicing sorcery. And watch a few Disney movies and realize there are no good witches. This is all evil, satanic indoctrination. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it enlightening, please consider liking, subscribing, clicking the bell, and sharing these videos. Thank you and have a blessed day.